Um, our next question comes from Van Heyer. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing name correctly. Uh, it was great meeting you guys at Square One Con this year. Um, it was great to meet you too. I am curious what stands out the most on a page of sketches within a portfolio. Is it the contrast, the line weight, the line quality, or something else entirely? I don't think that a uh, the quality of a sketch page can be can ever be down to the line weight, the line quality. Uh, I don't know. I think I think this is kind of a very targeted question. It's very um, right down in the minor details, shall we say? Uh, oh <laughs> yeah. Can we? I just want that sound bite on like some sort of button so I can press it all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, I will say I am a big fan of doing, taking, or or scanning your sketches, digital, whatever it is, making sure that the white part of your sketch, the page, the white of the sketch, is actually pic- pixel white. Mm. I hate when I see sketches and someone didn't put them into Photoshop, so it's like, you know, technically it's like a gray page with gray pen lines. And it, the contrast is so low, and it just looks so bad. Mm. It, this is more of an Instagram thing. People will post their sketches on Instagram, and it'll be very um, v- very hard to see because the contrast is so low. Hmm. But I always turn the contrast up as high as I can so that <laughs> my, my pen sketch is black. I just, I I... just imagine you putting on sunglasses <laughs> and just like... Cranking the contrast. It's like that old. I don't remember the speaker company, but it's like Dolby or somebody. And the and the ad is the guy sitting in like the Le Corbusier chair, and like there's just like the wind hitting him, and his ties flying back. The contrast is just hitting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, but you got yeah. sunburned that way, Nick. I I don't think when when people look at your when people, I get sunburned just walking outside. For five minutes. <laughs> I feel like you get sunburned if sun hits a mirror that's yeah, yeah, reflecting yeah. into your face. <laughs> yeah, my Ben mirrors. Oh, um, I, I will say that when you're fl- like an employer's flipping through their portfolio, they'll look at your sketches as more of a competency task. It's like, mm. oh, can you sketch and convey your ideas? Right. Yes. Check. Good. And then, I mean, me personally, I'm always like, are they actually coming up with cool products and great ideas? Yeah, I mean, at the core of your portfolio, at the core of your design, you should always have the soul of the product. You should always have that great idea or concept. Yeah, there is something really fun about a spread or a scroll of a ton of thumbnail. Like I love that sketches, like the small little doodles. Oh, it's it's really nice. Mm -hmm. But I think that sketches, like every other part of your portfolio, need to tell a story. So obviously there needs to be a conclusion to this to the sketches. Yeah. And whether it's three options that you then explored through physical model making or it's one option that you, that everything culminated to it it needs to be clearly communicated visually. Yes. Where you where you arrived again, through the sketching exploration. Right. And again going back to our previous conversation like telling that story in a very visual and visually impactful way so maybe it's your sketches start out let's say you're scrolling through behance right so if you're scrolling the sketch page or the sketch image should be vertical right Mm -hmm. you're scrolling through it and maybe at at the top of the image you have very small thumbnails and as you get down to the bottom you have one the sketches get bigger and bigger until you have the one big sketch right or I've seen on PDF portfolios or printed portfolios, people will have like all the sketches laid out and they'll take like, you know, like a circle that has a color in it and kind of highlight different features that they liked. And then the right. next page they'll have all those features implemented into one bigger sketch. There's different definitely different ways to do it, but yeah. Yeah. Again, it's it's kind of that go and look at portfolios and and portfolios that you admire like on Behance or wherever. And just copy it. And yeah, well, no, I mean, that's not a terrible idea. I, that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, copy it or just like think about, understand like why you like it. Like what is it about it that you like it? Yeah. The thing is, is that copying 
copying something, copying something graphic in terms of layout, first of all, it'll never come out like come out the exactly the same way. Yeah, as the you other have a different person. you have a different project. It's yeah, never, you have a yeah. different project. You have different content. Right. Don't worry about it. Steal steal the idea. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good artist borrow. Great artist steal. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite. Quotes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that was that was a good question. Thanks for sending it in, Ban.